I can't. believe all the incredible things I got to do this summer. So many adventures, so many laughs. It's absolutely amazing how much the outdoors has to offer. It's refreshing and spiritual. Wait, I feel like someone is watching me. Oh, hi there. I didn't see you. Kind of gave me a startle. Sorry, what's that? What am I doing? Wow. Well, just trying to keep track of all the adventures we went on this summer. Would you like to have a look? I thought you might say yes. All right. Let's see what we got here. Ah, yes. What do you say we hike to the top of an active volcano and just before it's about to explode, we hand glide off of it? Sorry? Boring. Okay. Let's see what else we got here for you then. Okay, why don't we go on a road trip to Northern British Columbia with the adventurers and myself and see what the area has to offer in terms of fishing and such. Yes? Okay, well, be my guest. So, here we go then. Adventure bound. Here is the official adventure truck and here is the preferred adventure haircut. It's an early morning in northwestern BC. And today, we're gonna do a little bar fishing on the mighty Skeena River. Now bar fishing is a relatively easy method of fishing. You simply take your rod and heave your tackle out into the mighty river. Then, you sit and wait for a fish to bite. The bells are used because if you don't see the fish bite, they will ensure that you at least hear it. If you would like to know more about this method of fishing, you can find it at our website, www.captainquinn.com. In the meantime, let me educate you about the rare, unique beauty of the Skeena River. The Skeena River is the second largest river in BC, and home to all five runs of Pacific salmon, as well as steelhead, and a variety of trout. The Skeena River watershed is perhaps the most precious watershed left in Canada, if not the world due to the fact that it's perhaps the only watershed still remaining in its natural state, void of dams, industrial sites, or fish hatcheries. All of the salmon returning to spawn in the Skeena and its tributaries are wild. This is extremely rare this day and age, and we should see to it that it can remain in this state forever, because we can't afford to lose it and all that it offers. Threats facing the Skeena River are brought on by the oil and gas industry, as well as Gordon Campbell's privatized power projects. If any of these industrial projects were ever allowed to go through, it could ruin the river and its tributaries forever. And so, we have a responsibility. But I don't mean to eat up all of your time with talk of responsibility. So here I am battling a Skeena River Chinook. Unfortunately, I lose this particular battle, and such is fishing. But when the fishing is slow, a marshmallow roasting we will go. Adventure, Nathan. Bar fishing on the Skeena River. We've already caught a few fish. How many fish have we caught? Uh, three. Three. And while we're waiting, we're cooking some marshmallows and making some s'mores. Yeah. Fishing's pretty slow. Yep. We haven't caught, we only caught three. Tomorrow we're going to head to the Kitimat. Yep, there's probably a lot of good fish we heard. Yes, that is what we heard. And so it was back to the adventure truck, and onwards to the Kitimat River, picking up two more adventurers along the way, Adventurer Nathan and Adventurer Gary, who is asleep on Nathan's shoulder. But not for long. <laughs> What's <the> here? <laughs> <laughs> After arriving in Kitimat, it was time to park the adventure truck and check out a little fishing. We are in Kitimat, BC. Uh, we're about to catch the largest salmon on record. Three great friends, one little boat, one mighty river, and hopefully a ton of fish. Switching over to a different method of fishing called bottom bouncing enabled us to cover more water, and it sure didn't take us long to get a fish on. First spring of the day, we've been drifting for maybe five minutes, and it's a nice one. Got it here on the spinning glow.
and after quite the battle, we finally managed to land this beauty. And then it was time to revive it and release it. Right there is a Kitimat River Chinook salmon. And we still had plenty of time to put one on the dinner menu. Got this one upriver. That's two fish so far. Beautiful day on the Kitimat River. Yes, it certainly was. But like all beautiful days, they eventually have to come to an end. And so it was back to our adventure camp to prepare this freshly caught meal with my adventure the family. Sure can catch a fish. <laughs> and after enjoying this delicious meal with the adventurers, it was time to go do the dishes. Let's go do the dishes. Only one way to clean a dish when you're in Kitimat. Oh, it's cold! Sparkling. And after the dishes, it was time for a bath. Hurry, hurry! Even the dog had to join in the fun. <laughs> After enjoying some great adventure on the Kitimat River, it was time to make our way back to the adventure truck once more and head north to the Nass River Valley for some more great adventure. We're heading to do some sockeye fishing. Gonna get the fly rod out and see if we can't hook into a few and get one on the grill for dinner. Bit of an overcast day, but it's still quite nice and warm out. And once again, after arriving at the river, it sure didn't take us long to get into some fish. Got a nice little sockeye on here. No fly rod. Well, Gary found this beauty at a dump. It's got no drag. We spliced some sinking tip to the end. And you got a reel, he put, he put, he put this reel on in all of his experience uh, backwards. So you got to reel the rod in upside down. But it's a nice fish. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Beautiful sockeye salmon. Yes, they were all beautiful fish. And after landing and releasing a few, it was time to try to get one on the dinner menu. And here's Gary hooking into another one. This next clip is meant for those of you who claim that fishing isn't a sport. Take a look. Oh, it's a nice one. You, you've got, you've got it. Yeah. <laughs> Save. 
Look at Luongo go. He loves save on the sockeye. And so once we had our one fish for dinner, it was time for a swim, and then on to our next adventure. But we will have to save that adventure for another day. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Smithereens. So yeah, we went fishing and... Oh! It was fun, and uh, now we're gonna go jump in the water. And if you are worried, please don't be, for there are plenty more adventures on their way. So don't forget to keep checking the website for more great adventure.